Hallo Leute, wir kommen zur neuen Folge von Doki Doki Blue Skies Mod. Letzte Folge haben wir mit den äh, Girls ein Picknick gehabt und ein bisschen Zeit mit äh, Siori natürlich im Morgen verbracht, äh, denn sie hat uns äh, etwas für, äh, fürs äh, Morgenessen, also für, fürs Frühstücken gebracht. Voilà, da ist das Wort. Und ja, jetzt sind wir am Tag danach und I, äh, ne, Juri. Hm? Und Siori plant irgendwas äh, und ja, das werden wir auf jeden Fall noch rausfinden, wahrscheinlich heute. Entschuldigung. Über letzte Folge haben wir ein schönes Picknick mit den Girls äh, verbracht und haben auch einerseits schön Zeit mit äh, Seori wieder verbracht. Und Seori plant irgendwas für heute. Wir wissen noch nicht was, aber wir werden es wahrscheinlich rausfinden. Und ihr wisst es schon bei Farben, who knows. Auf jeden Fall, legen wir los. I open my eyes and slowly go more awake. I'm suddenly aware of a warmth in my chest. So yeah, someone managed to control herself so that she's lying diagonally like, across my body. With head planted firmly on my upper body. I can feel the form of her breath through the fabric of my pajamas. Only Seori could manage to fall asleep like this. Typical girl. I can't help but smile while I gently stroke the back of her head. Her hair has always been very soft and pleasant to touch. As I move my hand toward my face to scratch an itch on my nose, Sally so suddenly mumbles. Mm. Mm, put your hand back. In your hair? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't speak spillow. Uh, uh, spillo. I don't speak pillow. I'll take that as a yes, though. Feels really good. You're literally like a cat, you know that? A beautiful blue dyed cat with lovely hair. Okay, that sounded a bit weird, didn't it? Just a bit. Huh? She jerks upright as I poke her in the ribs. She will always be sensitive to that. Kazma! It was so comfy. Sorry, sorry. I put her towards me. Yeah, you can use me as a pillow again. She grumbles, but eventually settles down once more. You make a really good pillow. Thanks, I've been training my entire life in Human Pillow Com ch Championship. I only got third place last time, so it's nice to know I'm doing better now. At this proximity, I can literally feel the vibrations from my left on my own skin. Stop making me laugh, I'm trying to sleep. I don't know, sir, if my pillow could make me laugh, I'd be mighty impressed. Maybe I should be a little more appreciative, gosh. So to keep a girl from my beauty sleep, Kazuma. Why would you even need beauty sleep? You're perfect the way you are. Okay, even though I sighted after me, that was pretty smooth. Since when did you have such charming sight, eh? Uh, about four seconds ago, apparently. Better late than never, right? Say so yawns and stretches, sitting up once more. Even with her hair plastered all over her face and I still riddled with sleep, I don't think it's possible for her to look bad. Something on my face? Just like mine, how beautiful you really are. What? How meant to reply to that? By flirting so I get to uh, further admire how cute you are? You're such a meanie. But I'm compliment complimenting you. Would you rather uh, I said you looked like an ostrich or something? Well, ostriches are pretty cool. Okay, but if you think I'm a weirdo for calling you my ostrich in public, I'm blaming you. She burst out laughing. I can't even see that now that you said it. I want my eyes. You must be the only girl in the planet who'd rather be called an African flightless bird than a beautiful or cute. Yep. But don't forget. You chose me. Uh, let's just go make breakfast. So, what's this misty plan you got lined up for today then? Oh, that. Well, I want to keep it a surprise. But you already told me that you got something planned, so that's kind of give away in itself. Oops. But well, I still, know what's, uh, still don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, we got a bit of time until we have to go. What should we do? Fancy watching anime? I've been playing mini games a lot recently. If you got it could be a nice change. I don't really know any, but sure. Awesome. That was super confusing. Yeah, time travel plotlines can get pretty perplexing. I heard they're, uh, they're really hard to write well. Just uh, pulls it off pretty well though. Wait, was it just me that uh, uh, thought that the red head girl kind of reminds me of uh, White Sea of Netsky? Also, ich habe schon mal Zeitreiten über Steinskate gedacht, aber jetzt ist ein rothaariges Mädchen, wird es nämlich von das was ganz Steinskate, was sie angeschaut haben. <lacht> I can see it. She glances at the clock. Oh, I need to go and get ready soon. Are you preparing for something like this? Keeping it a secret? You haven't been adopted by Yakuza, have you? No, but it'd be kind of fun. Something tells me that Sarah doesn't know that much about Japanese gangsters. Oh, by the way, um, you don't have any dress shirts, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. I think you look really nice if you wear one today. So, what are you really saying is that whether, wherever we're going has a smart, smart dress code? She doesn't answer. Anyway, I'll see you soon. She puts her plate away and heads out the door, leaving me to con contemplate what she said, just said. I open my wardrobe and sit, uh, sift through my clothes. It's been a while since I had to wear a dress shirt. It's not something I normally, normally wear, but I could tell what Sayo was getting at. Guess it's kinda hard to tell uh, me what to wear when the whole thing is meant to be a surprise. Still, I reckon this one will do nicely. I'll pack a hoodie in my backpack too, just in case. 
After refreshing up, I stand in front of the mirror, and nervously checking on how low I look. I get the feeling we're going to some kind of western, although I can't imagine why. It's not like today is Valentine's or anything like that. Make some nice variety at least. Either way, I, f I want to look nice. But it looks like it's time to meet her. After trying to smooth my hair one last time, I head out. Sales are already here by the time I arrive at the house. Wahrscheinlich ist das Restort, was mir jetzt vorgeschlagen haben. Hey! Oh, wow. Okay, das habe ich jetzt erwartet. Wow, so you look like an ostrich? Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Kazma. I'm glad you like it. It always looked really nice, but this is something else. After Kazma? Oh, sorry. Someone's getting into the spirit of the day. She gives us a loops her hands with mine. I can smell her perfume, which only lets to have earlier. You look really handsome, by the way. Like one of those fancy spies. <laughs> Don't overdo it. So, where are we going? You'll see. Here we are. We're standing in front of a fancy looking restaurant. Looks like my hunch was correct. Oh, no way. What? This exact restaurant I was going to take you on Valentine's Day. Ich wusste es. Really? Yep. Did you get the recommendation from Monica by any chance? Sure did, and I'm guessing you did too. <laughs> she nods, giggling. Oh, what the ch what are the chances? I, I guess you really do think I like. So that explains the dress and why you asked me to wear a smart, uh, a smart shirt. It all makes sense now. Sorry, it was really hard to tell you about the dress code while trying to keep the whole thing a secret. It must have sounded so awkward. Now I get to reasoning. Besides, I'm really hungry, so let's just head in. Oh, we cool. Oh, we cool. Man, Monica wasn't warm for the description of this place. First thing is no uh, I noticed is the warm, cozy atm atmosphere that radi radiates, accompanied by some pleasant jazz. So he seems impressed as well, given how much he's gushing about the rest of the looks. As the waiter comes over us to tend, over to us to tend, and never come. Well, as the waiter comes over to tend to us, voila, I'll make a mental note to thank Ma Monica the next time I see her. All of this stuff looks so tasty. But I don't know what hell of it is. Yeah, I should not know what wissen. Then how do you know it's tasty? Six cents. I didn't know that a movie about ghosts taught you about food. Let go, silly. I know, I know. Just messing. Are you going to have a, sh a starter? Hmm. I think I'll try the sh uh, shawarma. Oh god. Shawan mushi uh, with shrimp. Wasn't aware that you liked shrimp that much, but okay. It's not every day that I get to, uh, to, get, to get to come here, so I figured that it'd be a good idea to try something new. Now that'd be a bad idea, actually. I'll do the same. I think I'll go for the yak yakitori. Yakitori. But alles so falsch sprechen. So. You're probably wondering why I took you here today, right? It probably come it came across as kind of random. Yeah, a little. I don't mind, though. What is this? I'm just listening to the music. Similar as the normal Doki Doki film, just so a jazz life. Cool, when it's really so. Well, I was thinking about Valentine's Day. I felt kind of bad we didn't get to do anything in the day just because I wasn't really feeling up to it. So I wanted to make it up to you. You didn't have to make anything up to me, Sayori. But I did. You were looking forward to spending the day with me. And I just told you to leave me alone. There was a reason for that. I didn't want to force anything. And besides, it's like that you choose to have a bad day, was it? I know, but... So don't worry about it. I much preferred we had a nice romantic evening together when you fell in the mood of a one. Forcing one just because it was Valentine's is a pretty bad idea anyway. Anyway, the food is here. Uh, here is great. Looks like Monica really knows the stuff, huh? Oh, Shwamashi is so tasty. You know, it might be worth learning how to cook. Given how you love food and how much I love seeing a smile on your face, it might be something I look onto, into. You know, for the future. She blushes slight. She blushes slightly. Speaking of which, I've been thinking about the future. Our future. I know it might seem a bit early, though. <laughs> now nah, it's pretty natural, right? I have those thoughts from time to time as well. What do you think will be when we finish high school? Assuming you haven't got bored of me by then? Kazuma, I never get bored of you. Kidding, kidding. And in reality, well, I like to think we'll still be together, you know? Yeah, we've only been a couple for, what, two months? But only it feels a lot longer. Probably because we've known each other for so long, right? Take a bite of my food. It's really, it's really good. That's probably it, yeah. I think you got really lucky in that respect. I read somewhere that it's the best relationship that I tend for, uh, to form from two people when do the oh my god when the two people are best friends before they start dating what do you think that is probably because they get to know each other really well before they get into a relationship right they know that their partner likes uh, their partner dislikes dislikes along with their hobbies interests and values and because friends argue fall out and make up each person would know how to handle the other when they fight 
which would be really useful when dating them. Plus, it also gives them a long time for the feelings to go. Nothing is worse than anything. So that's actually given it some fault. I like to think about these things. It really helps to keep the peace. Oh, I never thought of that. You can't really keep people happy if you don't understand them, right? Yep. You're pretty perceptive and smart. I always enjoyed seeing that side of you. Really? Uh, let's take the incident where you uh, forgot your clothes back in November. It was a pretty clever way to get me hold your hands, and it worked too. I don't know what it is about that crafty side of yours that it's so alluring. Perhaps it's because I never knew when it's going to strike next. So, it's always, uh, so it always keeps me on my toes. There's always been much more to you than meets the eye, I guess. It's a bit devious, but it's kind of fun to play with people like that. Which is why it's all the more rewarding when I manage to get you back. We always try to one-up each other, something that stayed with us since childhood. And what I love the most is that it's a un unique little in-joke. In-game, I don't know what the white word wording would be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I really enjoy it too. It's our own little thing that no one can ever take away from us. Precisely. So you push, push the uh, empty plate away from her. Unlike many times before, she didn't just swoop down a meal as fast, fast as possible. Not, not did she take a remarkably long amount of time to eat it. Looks like her appetite is a lot more consistent these, these days. Can I see the dessert, uh, uh, dessert menu? Only if you promised me that you won't buy the entire thing. Can't make that promise. Sorry. Hand the uh, menu over her. I side up as she scans the options. How can you even fit any more food in? Your main looks really filling. This that doesn't go into the stomach, Kazuma. It goes to the heart. That may be the dumbest yet most profound thing I have heard in a while. Oh, look, they have chocolate cake. It comes with a vanilla ice cream. And sprinkles. You know what? You got me in desert mood now. <laughs> Let's have two. Desert mood. Well, after a while, we finish our meal and the waiter comes over with the bill. Ouch. Well, at least you get what you pay for here. As a pull out my wallet, Sayo intervenes. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm paying for the... There's no way I'm letting you uh, pay for this alone, Kazuma. It's okay, M mom left me some money. That's not the point, silly. You already do so much for me, so this time I want to give you something back to you. But I don't want you to pay for the entire thing either, it's highly cheap. Nah, -uh, not this time. Help him off to argue about serious resolution in the whole film. Okay, okay, if you insist. He smiled sweetly. I do. We pay the bill and stand up to leave. I'll find a way to slip some yen into her pocket when she isn't looking. Wow, look at the stars, Kazuma. She's shivering. A given we really do to temperature in that point. The dress she's wearing probably doesn't help. Luckily, I came prepared. There comes the hoodie. I put out the hoodie from my backpatch, standing behind her, help her onto it. No, obviously this. Once I've done, I hug her close to me and plant a kiss into the back of her neck. They might look beautiful, Siri, but they have absolutely nothing on you. <laughs> and thank you. Oh, for paying? It's nothing. I just didn't want... Not for that. Thank you for taking a chance on me, for letting me back into your life, and for letting me help you. You keep talking about how much I've done you, but I don't think I told you how much you've done for me. You gave me something to look forward to, each and every morning, even on the days where we didn't spend time together. Just seeing you, if only for a minute, was enough to make my day better. It's all thanks to you that I was introduced to a world of poetry, a club filled with friendship. And a club filled with friendship. I didn't realize just how badly I was missing friendship in my life until that fateful day where you let me walk with you to school all those months ago. If it weren't for you, I would probably spend my last two years being of high school alone, becoming more and more in need of, uh, of a need by the day. You made such a positive change in my life, and I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for that. Oh, Kazuma. Ah, uh, there's so much more than that. Seeing your eyes shine when you laugh, seeing your nose scrunch when up when you uh, when you're thinking about something. Hearing her laugh when I'm saying about the good old days. The day never goes by where I don't consider myself the luckiest girl on the planet. All because a girl as beautiful and amazing as you are considers me her boyfriend. I don't know what to say, hey. It's okay, sorry. You don't have to say anything. I just want to let you know how much you mean to me. Because honestly, you are my word. <laughs> Tordic. I love hearing you laugh. I love seeing you smile. I love how you are a daily part of my life now. But most importantly, it's now or never. I love you, Sayori. Well, that is, that's it now. These three words have been spoken. Really? Really, really. I'm sorry if that came out of the blue or... I love you too, Kazuma. I was scared that I'd say it too soon. I didn't want to scare you or anything. I can't help but still feel a slight laugh. That's exactly how I've been feeling. You really are on the same wavelength. She reaches up to wipe a few t happy tears away. It feels so good to, be finally, uh, to finally be able to say it. It does. It really, really does. 
She turns around to face me with, it, uh, with tears in her eyes. She slowly leans her face towards mine and we share a kiss. A kiss that feels entirely different to any other kiss we shared before. Is it because we both finally exclaimed our love for each other? Or because we're doing, still, uh, doing the stereotypical thing of kissing under the moonlight? Who knows? We beg apart, but our faces remain close. So his voice has lowered to whisper and her eyes remain closed. Still shivering a little, but she cares not regardless. I can't believe we're in this situation right now. I had dreams about this moment, and we get to say those three words. We open our eyes at the same time. I was so scared that this would feel wrong, or that it wouldn't match my expectations. I think there's another reason why I was scared of saying it too early. But I'm so glad we waited for the right moment. Me too, Sayori. It's all been worth it. She laughed softly. I knew there was something about you, back when you first laid eyes on each other, all those years ago. Those made me feel warm and fuzzy inside, and that never changed, no matter how many years had passed. It took me a long time to realize my feelings. And they were confusing. I didn't know why I find myself smiling for no reason. reason. And even though the rain clouds were there, no matter how it rained, they could never put out that tiny little ember. The tiny little ember that was you. Which was always there. And it was brrrr. It looks like Melanesia doesn't care in the slightest for moments. The cold winds which were uh, fairly, fairly dormant have suddenly burst to life. We continue this at home, don't worry. <laughs> he had not a bad idea. I left out and pulled her close to me, trying to form a hop. One speedy uh, power walk later, and we're both back home, savoring the warmth of the room. Luckily, the Aunt Rosie hasn't been disrupted much. Ah, that's much better. Now, what were you saying? She walks up to me and puts her hands on my face. Her form slowly match and massages my chin, and her other hand goes up to stroke my hair. I was so scared to fall in love. When you told me you liked me, I had no idea how to respond. And as you saw, I panicked. Smiled so uh, woefully. But things are uh, different now. It helped me realize that it was okay to take that chance. That maybe, just maybe, my own happiness isn't something I should hate. Things aren't entirely perfect, but I'm happy with where I am at now. At now. You should be sorry. You've been so brave and you've overcome so much. And that's all because of you. He wants that little ember, but you go into a roaring f uh, fire. A fire that refused to be, uh, to be put out. She kisses me once more. To my surprise, he uses her tongue again. Immediately my heart starts to race. I'm very well of uh, what the atmosphere was like the last time she kissed me like this. At this time, there's no one around to interrupt us. I kiss her back just as passionately. That hunger, that sense of urgency, it's all flooding back to the both of us. I need you, Kazuma. Goosebumps erupt over my arms. And uh, there's so much more I could say, but I think there's a better way of showing how I feel. I can hardly hear uh, her with the sound of my heart from my chest. Is this really happening? Are you sure? Your reply is barely visible, but the convi uh, conviction and assurance are so strong it's almost like she shouted it. <clears throat> yes. Ten tentatively, her hands start picking at the bottoms of my shirt. Her fingers feel warm and soft against my upper body, and I watch with almost bated breath as she undoes each button. Eventually, she undoes the last button and helps me slide the shirt off. I take a deep breath, saving how her hands feel on my bare chest. Are you okay with this? Yeah. So I'm just really nervous. That's okay. Me too. She turns around, exposing the zipper on the back of her dress. I want to see and know what, what I'm expected to do. Warte nur kurz schauen. Go. Nur sicher gestellt, dass es an ist. Okay. <clears throat> Before I pull the zipper down, I kiss her slowly across the back of her neck, causing her to moan lightly. Truth be told, I have no idea what I'm doing, but from the sounds she just made, I guess it's working. With the zipper free, Sarah is able to wiggle out of her dress, and far away part of me understands why she was so cold. With the dress off, the only thing she's left in, uh, in, is her underwear. I can't help but stare at the side in front of me. I've never seen Sarah in this state before. Ah, but it comes to things. <laughs> You're staring. I swallow. Can you blame me? You look amazing. She blushes, the flash of red on her face compliments the navy of her underwear. As she fumbles more for my belt, I have to make my, uh, remind myself that this is really happening. The girl that I have loved since we were kids is practically naked, standing in front of me, undoing my belt. As the belt comes undone, I wiggle off my trousers. Uh, now we're both standing in just underwear, both aware of what happens next. We share another kiss, with the majority of our clothes off, the, off, the tentative longing uh, we both emanating. Uh, thing, uh, along with the feel of a so breast in my chest, there's a tender kind of intimacy in the situation that we're both really, uh, reveling, reveling, uh, reveling in. Oh Jesus! In contrast against the sense of urgency in the moment, <clears throat> we're shaking fingers, leaning towards Sorry's back. 
I feel the one job to for Bob, but as I as I expect, I have no clue how to undo it. She lets out a little little oh my god, she can't even She lets out a little giggle. Having trouble? It's not like I'm doing a boy something I have experience with. I just think it's like a dumb, damn Rubik's cube. They aren't. <laughs> yeah, all I have to do is unlo unhook it like this. Both catches in my throat as it finally comes undone. I pull it back so in front, so I'm in front of her once more. And in one fluid motion, her, her bra comes free. Wow. You look beautiful. She giggles shyly as she covers herself with her arms. Wahrscheinlich, wenn man jetzt die Anstellung eingemacht habe, nur weggemacht hat, hat man es jetzt gesehen. Aber YouTube, es ist zensiert. Keine Sorgen. <laughs> Sorry, I know they're not as big as you, so I take her by surprise as I start kissing her neck. An area that she seems to take particular pleasure from. Feeling a little more daring, uh, daring I keep the... Uh, Going further. Before I know it, my, I'm gently caressing her breasts in my hand. My tongue gently gli glides over them. All the while, I'm planting passionate kisses over her chest, causing her moans to go louder. It doesn't matter. They're great just the way they are. My hands are gently caressing my hair as I continue kissing her body. Once I've started, it's almost impossible to stop. Those sexual urges that have been that have been kept at bay since our first tickle fight finally have free reign, and damned if I will stop them. All of my senses are being stimulated right now. The strangely enticing smell of her pheromones, along with the allure of her taste. The sound of her moans, the sight of her body, it's almost sensory overload, but it's not unpleasant in the slightest. I stand up and look her in the eyes. Wordlessly, wordlessly she, sis she slips off the final article of clothing on her body and I follow suit. Now we are both truly exposed. I should feel vulnerable. After all, who wouldn't when they're, tw when they're naked? But we say, no, vulnerable would be the wrong word. I feel safe. The intimacy between us is like a warm cocoon. The silence stretches on what feels like much longer as we take the side of each other in. A gentle curve of her hips, the smooth alert to her skin. A perky and shapely her breasts are, along with the endearing, shy expression on her face. This might have been her dear, but it's clear that she's just as nervous as I am. But most of all, actually seeing her like this, in such an exposed, intimate state. There's a slight air of awkwardness, but I guess this is a given. At least we can share the awkwardness with each other. Wait. Uh, I don't have any, you know, she nods wordlessly and reaches into pocket for a dress, pulling out the outer foil package. I raise an eyebrow. What? I just like the pan a little, head a little. <laughs> it's obviously that's <laughs> what I thought. I decided not to press it, given the situation we're in. After fumbling around for a few minutes, we're, there, we're set. At this point, my uh, already raging hormones have decided to take over. I gently push her down towards the bed. With my let's, uh, lips na uh, na Never once separating from hers. She understands my intentions and wordlessly complies, slowly sinking in. I sink down with her, resting so that my elbows are off the other side with her, with my hands on either side of her face. My weight rests on my elbows as I slowly maneuver myself so that I'm positioned between her legs. I'm tenderly forming her, che uh, her cheeks as I do so. Her eyes flutter open and close. Eventually, I'm at what thing is the right spot. She gives me the tiniest of knots. It's small, but I can read what it says. I'm ready. Doing my best to ignore how loudly my heart is beating, I start to slowly insert myself inside her. She immediately gasps. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't know what to expect. I can stop if you like. She closes her eyes once more, breathing in heavily. No, it's fine. Keep going. She wraps her arms around my neck and smiles up at me. It's okay. I look back at her, resuming my position. As I slowly slide myself into her once more, waves of pleasure shoot my uh, through my body. This warm, wet sensation is completely foreign to me, but feels absolutely incredible. I voluntarily had a grunt as this feeling courses through my veins. Then her moans with a satisfaction, screaming slightly underneath me. As I push further, her moans grow louder. All, I'm all the way inside her at this point, and the feeling has grown stronger and stronger. Slowly, uh, Sayori slowly starts moving her hips to match the rhythm that I'm using. Her movements uh, sync perfectly with mine, causing my breathing to become racked. I never experienced anything remotely as satisfying as this in my entire life. All the while, Siri's chest is gently heaving up and down. Goosebumps are visible on the surface of her skin and there's a flush visible in her face. Spreading her lip in pressure, the sight of which spurs me to try going a little faster. Oh, that's incredible. Every push inside her feels like heaven. It is not just me feeling this way, as I can feel Siri's nails uh, racked down my back. It doesn't hurt anything and I'm glad that she's enjoying this just as much as I am. Eventually, I start to feel some kind of build-up. I know what's coming, and with each thrust, I can feel my limb rapidly drawing near. Sorry, I... There's no stopping now. With one final thrust, I finally surrender. 
For a few moments, I lose control of my body as the waves of pressure go to dizzying levels. Sayori also cries as her body shudders as well, and at that moment we both lose control, sorting ourselves to nature. For a moment there's silence, broken only by the sounds of her panting. A wall of Sayori, breathing heavily, a light sh sheen of sweat is coating the both of us. Not surprising, given the intense body heat we were, uh, we were sharing. Uh, I sit up briefly to dis dispose of the counter as Sayori lips slips her underwear back on. I guess she still lives, I've conscious. I smi smile tenderly at her as she uh, snuggles up to me. Particularly after our climax, it feels incredibly intimate to have her this close to me. Oh yeah, after care. For the win. I don't know how to break uh, the silence. Luckily, Sayori uh, does it for me. Kazuma? Hmm? I love you. I love you too, Sayori. That was absolutely incredible. She gave us softly. It really was. Silence again. It's not uncomfortable though. I'm trying to back my off my brains for what I want to say the most. I think this has been the best day of my life so far. Mine too, Kazuma. Mine too. The dreamy tone of voice makes me smile. Oh, Sayori? You're perfect. Literally. There isn't a single thing that I change about you. She ups them off to protest. On next date, I know what she's going to say. Yes, even your depression. I've been so proud of you. You've come such a long way. From opening up to me, agreeing to therapy, eventually having the strength to do it alone. I'm so happy that I'm able to have to be by your side. I know we've only been together for two months, but it only feels a lot longer. There's a silence for a moment. I don't know what to say, Cosma. I really don't. Except thank you, and I love you. I couldn't have imagined doing any of this without you. You're the best boyfriend a girl could ever ask for. Uh, I'm not nothing special, it's uh, who you... No, you really are, Cosma. I'm just, so mo uh, just too modest to see it. You've always been so caring and loving towards me. Since day one, you always made it your mission to put a smile on my face. Something you always succeeded at. The sunshine in my life. The light that's there to guide me through my darkest days. Something that I'll always be so, so grateful for. You haven't just given me a reason to smile. No, you gave me some... Uh, cut. You gave me something I thought I forever lost. You gave me hope. Actually, genuine hope. That maybe, just maybe, things might be okay. Und das war's. Wow! Okay, das war die sehr auch gute, die gute Variante. Wir haben natürlich noch leider die schlechte Variante. Darüber freue ich mich absolut nicht. Aber ja. Damit hätten wir es geschafft. Und können damit dann die sehr gute zur Hälfte abschließen. Jetzt haben wir nur noch das schlechte Ending und noch die Decision, wo wir Dings, äh, die zweite Wahlnehmer für nehmen. Und das, deshalb sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge da wieder. Äh. Also bisher, was ich kann sagen, die Seo Route ist absolut mein Favorit. Also, die zwei sind so süß miteinander. Ich liebe es einfach. Und ja. Jetzt nähern wir uns immer mehr dem Ende des Projekts. Ja. Und natürlich auch meine Stimme, weil das hier ist, glaube ich, die siebte oder achte Aufnahme im Tag. Schon. Und ich habe erst gestern noch sechs Aufnahmen von Doki Doki gemacht. Ihr seht, ich bin gerade extrem im Rausch von Doki Doki aufzunehmen. Und ich werde wahrscheinlich jetzt noch ein paar weitere aufnehmen, weil ich noch Dings halt dann noch die Serie wieder auf, äh, auf äh, zu, zu Ende will bringen. Ah. Mein Hals. Name ist Yori. Mit ihrem Hund. Und da müssen normalerweise Emmy dran hängen. Ah, nein, das ist Sakura. Und die Mutter. Was nochmal sehr verdächtig ist. Und dann müssen normalerweise Emmy noch da äh, hängen. Normalerweise. Ja, weil er da ist, Emmy. Und sonst, glaube ich, habe ich hier keinen vergessen, oder? Oder? Ne. Zeigt ja auch keiner mehr um Emmy. Dann ist ja alles gut. Aber ach, du Heilige. <lacht> Meine Stimme, sie verlässt mich immer mehr. Also, special Thanks. Ganz normal, Spaghetti, Alpha Zero, Mother, Crafter, and finally. You, no. For staying with us for the whole ride, no matter how long it was. Dein Problem. War der Vetter nicht noch der Hauptcharakter? Ah, la, leiser. Das hier wird so etwas und das letzte, die letzte. Oh? Es gibt etwas Spezielles, wenn man. Cool! So you finally made it, huh? 
all three routes, all three good endings. Back in February 2018, I never would have imagined that the Trying DLC, DDLC would have had such long lasting ripples in my life. It's extremely cliche, but DDLC is perhaps the, the most uh, the most influential game I ever played. Not only did it finally give me the chance to try and hand, uh, hand it uh, riding, a hobby I've always wanted to try, but it also gave me the opportunity to meet some wonderful people who I otherwise would never have had the chance to meet. More importantly, the DLC opened my eyes to the world of Japanese ma media. With uh, two, uh, as, uh, two stand name. With two uh, being uh, Dengaropa and Ka uh, Kawa Shoyu, which clicks the screen, then taught me the important lesson uh, of never judging a book by its cover. Working on this project for over two years was extremely difficult. The stress of keeping the, the entire pl pl project together was really uh, pervasive. And I l lie uh, awake for many nights wondering if it would be worth it. In the end, I'm glad I pulled through. Part uh, particularly because I wanted to prove to myself that I could uh, stick to a new hobby. That, but also because I want to share my story in the hope that it would have a positive impact on someone's life. I really hope that you enjoyed uh, do I, uh, do, uh, diving back into the world of DLC. And if uh, this mod made you f smile, if just for one person, then I think... Uh, it's all been worth it. As a final goodbye, I'd like just to give anyone uh, wanting to start writing a piece of advice. Just start. Cliché, try it and true, I know. But it's the most uh, 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 honest advice I, uh, I could give you. You never know where it'll take you. I didn't know in February 2018 and I'm proud uh, where, uh, at, of where I am now. Sir Sand Swampert. P.S. to all my fellow devs and friends who kept up uh, a continued steam of encouragement, thank you. The the mod wouldn't have been here without you guys. Wie cool! <laughs> oh, wie geil! Wenn man ja auch im Originalspiel alles äh, äh, von, den, äh, von den Bildern freischaltet, also basically alle Route durchspielt, dann bekommt man das ja auch. Äh, nämlich eine selbstgeschriebene. Äh, wirklich, man kann, wenn man äh, die äh, Buchstaben analysiert, kann man herausfinden, dass der die der Text vom Creator selbst handgeschrieben wurde und ich glaube das gleiche hat auch hier äh, Dings ist Herrn gemacht oder Sir Swam Swampot <lacht> oh das ist richtig cool da, dafür brauchst du einen Screenshot oh das ist oh ist da etwas oh cool oh wenn wir, äh, tut mir leid für die Länge der Folge aber das muss sein das ist viel zu cool hello and congrats on reading äh, äh, reading all good three endings. Anime, manga, visual novels have been pas uh, passions of mine for the entire uh, for my entire life. I grew up on uh, Daremon and Chibi Maruko uh, chan. And as the years passed, I explored every genre out there. Yes, I had a typical show your ma uh, ma show your uh, show your ma oh my god show your manga uh, phase in middle school and even fangled over Yao uh, Yaoi and Yui in high school. I always loved the way these types of media have ever been afraid to push the boundaries on their limitations. Despite technically being uh, cartoons, anime had and manga addressed serious concerns in adult matters. Um, they um, they were able to utilize the art of their mediums and convey certain messages that could not be conveyed through live action. As for visual novels, it amazes me that they can all allow us to form such deep attachments to fictional characters. A well-written visual novel is wonderful if that is, it, it's if they uh, if that is oh my god if they encourage you to actively empathize and empathize with the characters to walk in their shoes so that you can make the appropriate choice when the time when the time comes. Like you, as a player, I would have tried for all the good endings that Blue Skies included. And as someone who enjoys 100%ing visual novels, I would have felt awful, as I always do, when uh, purposely closing incorrect choices for the bad endings. I wish is that through Blue, Blue Skies, I have, help, I have helped you feel the same way too. Even after the May, uh, many sleepless nights uh, hunched over my drawing tablet and squinting at countless pages of writing and code i wouldn't change a thing about my experience with blue skies it was introduced me it introduced me to a singularity externality always sometimes fa fanatical community and to many incredible uh, models thank you for allowing me the opportunity to make this mod without you the player it wouldn't have uh, a chance a reason uh, uh, a reason to undergo such a uh, uh, project. 
And for that, you have my sincere gratitude. Thank you for playing Doggy Doggy Blue Skies mod and hope you had fun doing so. See you, Space Cowboy. Kyoji. Be cool. Ende. Wie geil ist das? Oh, das, das freut mich, dass man dafür noch eine Belohnung bekommt. Oh. Und andere Musik. Moment mal. Das ist ein Beweis, dass wir es geschafft haben. Normalerweise sind äh, Seori, Monika, äh, Seori, äh, Yuri und äh, Netsuki auf dem Bildschirm. Aber jetzt hat man das automatische Ending-Bild. Oh, wie cool. Okay. Wie geil. Okay. Dann wenden wir auf dieser ganz geilen Note, also ganz äh, netten und wundervollen Note die Folge. Ich bin so froh, dass wir das gemacht haben. Alle Endings. Ma, noch, es kommt noch ein Ending. Leider. Das schlechte Ending für Seori, was natürlich sehr traurig wird. So ist das eben. Und ja. Ich danke euch fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal, wo wir dann äh, die letzte Route für Seori durchspielen und ein Spiel ein Ende bereiten. Ach, ich will nicht, ich will nicht. Es ist aber äh, doch schon ein geiles Spiel. Also so geile Mod besser sein in diesem Fall jetzt. Aber ja, danke fürs Zuschauen und uns beim nächsten Mal. Tschüss!